hey welcome back guys okay so let's change a few things here uh, first of all let's change the following part here but the important thing we, we need to do here is to uh, change the I own content function because that's the one that we decide whether we own uh, this group or not so let's look at following first for a change let's go to group content default and then let's find the word following actually it isn't in here it's inside group so let's find that one the following errors occurred not this part wait a second group content default friends bar oh there it is there it's just that i had my case sensitive part here active okay so let's edit that and change it to uh members so at least this section will show just some new members to our group and we'll leave user.php because members are still users so we'll leave that there we just will need to uh, change what we are querying here uh, yeah otherwise things is good so let's refresh members very nice all right, so let's begin by bringing back our change profile image uh, thing here. So if we examine what's really going on here is that we asked the question, where is this? Uh, this is the question to know if we should show the change cover, change profile image. Okay, so it's change profile image cover right change cover so this part we are asking if i own content rightly so and then it turns out it's saying we don't own this content so let's go to the function and tell it to be more precise so we're going to the classes and functions here and what i'm looking for is the i own content function which is right here let's zoom in a little bit right there okay so if you look closely this is for profiles yes and this is for messages now the problem is we groups are probably passing through here because first of all this qualifies for group if it's set gender since we are actually using the same table for users as profiles so this is set gender is going to be true yes but we need to add one more condition here and uh, this condition should be and let's put an and right there and mm -hmm. so if gender is set so if this is not set definitely it's going to move on because these and and uh, I pointless to check so which means we can safely put uh, one other condition here which might not or which may or may not exist so this one is going to be raw type right because we definitely know that for it to check here it means this was true because if this was false then there's no need to check anything here because this will only uh, pass go into here if everything here is true so the moment it sees that this is false it's just going to move on it won't even check this so which means we can safely add uh, check for the value of type even though type may not exist on posts for example uh, we know that we are safe here because by the time it checks here then we are sure gender exists as well so let's say if type is equal to uh, profile yes so this is more precise now so if it's set row gender and row type is equal to profile and that then we know we are good to go or we might uh, yeah 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 okay so this works uh, for profiles just fine 
So let's create one more for group. Now it's almost exactly like profiles here. So I will say group for groups indeed. Uh -huh. Okay, so what happens with groups? Now groups also have gender. The only difference is that type is equal to group. Uh -huh. And the issue is my ID is not going to be in user ID, but it's going to be inside owner. As we have uh, checked here, let me see here for a second. Let's go to users and there is the owner thingy here. Now, the thing is uh, with, um, with uh, groups is that it will have several admins. So all those admins should be like, kind of like owners of, some, of sorts. So we'll have to make provision for that as well in the I own content uh, later on, even though we'll give them different uh, privileges, of course. So type group, and then here, we're not going to use user ID, we're going to use owner. Indeed. And uh, that does it for groups actually. So if I do refresh now, I should see the change cover right here. And there we go. So I should be able to change the cover. Mm -hmm. So let us browse and see if this is possible. So I'll just get a random image here and try to change. And who knew the random image actually, uh, well, surprisingly, we changed something else. So let's go back and see what actually happened here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's happening here is that in the class itself, uh, it's referencing the current user and not the group. So what we have to do is change everything that functions here to use the group. It's supposed to use the group classes. So classes auto load here. So the login thingy is uh, important. So we'll leave that there. And then user data is user data. Uh, yes, so we are getting the wrong Oh, check login. Okay, so that's fine. And then user is equal to that. Mm, okay. So here, profile get profile is fine, even though this is the profile class, but because a group is practically a profile here, so we leave this be as it is. But when something is posted, uh, things are a little bit different here. So this is group.php. Now change image goes into this one here. So this is where we have to make a few changes there. But then, um, okay, so this is for settings and so on and for errors. Okay, so everything else is fine. Now, of course, the redirect goes to profile, but it's supposed to go to a group. So. And not only that, we're supposed to have a slash here and then add the group uh, user ID. So since by here, we'll know that the user data contains the data that we want, we will put that here and do a uh, user ID like that. Mm -hmm. That ought to do it. So what I will do here for a second is to mute the include uh, change image right there. So let's come back here, refresh, and then I will do my change cover as again. I just want to see if it will redirect me to the right place. So let's hit change. And it definitely did redirect me to the wrong place. Hmm. So this is a uh, predicament here. 
So as you can see, what's happening here is that it redirected me to group. However, it's using my profile user ID. So it's loading my profile. And since a group and a profile are pretty much the same, it can still load that content here. So what we want to do is to be very uh, precise in in how we load content here. So let me go back here a second. So there's group. So we did go to group, which is nice, but the problem is the user ID is wrong. It's not the ID for, um, it's not the ID for the group that we are in, but for my profile. So what we want to do is to be able to tell it that when it's group.php, we should read something else. So let's look at get profile here. This profile, get profile. So what we're going to do is let's go to the profile class here for a second so where are we profile class there we go okay get profile this is all we have in here so what we're going to do is plagiarize this so i'm going to copy this and then i will go to the group class of course and then i will add that function right here so that we don't need to use the other one and now here we can be very specific where we say select all from users where user ID is going to do to ID and very important and type is equal to group, right? Very important. Uh -huh. Okay, so let me come back here again to group.php. So this is all we need the profile uh, thingy for. So let's change this to group. Everything here that is profile, uh, let's change to group. Uh, that was too early. I should have changed this as well. Uh -huh. So let's come back at the top here as well. Oh, let's see group user data user data okay let's leave that for now okay all right so get group of course we have to update that as well in the classes instead of get profile it's going to be get group uh -huh. okay so pretty good let's come back here and refresh this time so undefined method get group in profile. So my bad, let's go back to group.php. I'm supposed to say new group, yeah? Uh -huh. Forgot that part, so let's refresh. Okay, 